Welcome to Conscious Clips and our time together. Today we're going to be talking about teaching children to care. Caring is a product of a community, be it a classroom or family, that deems all its members valuable and contributing. So I'm going to show you some ways we can do this in a classroom and then I'll extend it back to the home. One of the class jobs that teaches children to care is the absent child person. And this person simply writes a note for those who are absent. So when that child returns back to school, there's a little note saying, we missed you. And I have one of those notes right here from a sixth grade classroom I'd like to read to you. Dear Merceline, we miss you and we are sorry you make the wrong choices. We hope you make better ones and think before saying something. Once again, we miss you. Come back and please don't be suspended anymore. We need you in our class family. It's not the same when you're not here. The class is falling apart. Come and help us build it up again. Sincerely, your caring class. So it really doesn't matter why the child is gone. The point is they have a little note when they come back. This can be done in families too. When you have a family gathering and someone's not able to come, have your children, I don't care if they're three years old, scribble a little note. Aunt, Aunt Betty, we missed you. Of course, it looks like scribble, but we can say, here's a note letting you know that you, were, you weren't with us and we missed you. Another job that teaches about caring is the first aid giver. And in this next little clip from a classroom, you're going to see the first aid getter, giver. And in this classroom, she's called the doctor. Watch how one child cares for another in this clip as she doctors a boo-boo of another child. Okay, girls, so, so what happened? I hurt my thumb. You hurt your thumb and you came over here to get Nancy. How come? Because I hurt my thumb. And, and Nancy, is this your job to be the doctor? Yeah. Yeah, so what are you going to do? Um, help her. Well, let me see. Show me what you're going to do. Okay, well, you're looking in your doctor bag. Oh, and you have your gloves. Do you need some help? Let's see. You got it. Yes, you did. You kept working at it, and you kept moving your fingers around and using your other hand, and you figured it out. Looking in her bag. And how's your thumb feeling? Is it hurting? A little bit? You're just going to protect it? so it doesn't get dirty and infected. Go on. And you, you guys are working together. What amazes me in the clip you just saw is how the girls are so patient with each other that it's so important that they receive the caring and offer the caring that they wait patiently as she struggles with that big giant glove before she puts the band-aid on. And this ritual can easily be put in the home. You have the first aid helper at your house. You can, if you have more than one child, they can take it as a week at a time. So if one person's sick, mom, dad, or the other sibling, they can be the first aid helper and demonstrate their caring when someone else is ill in the family. And I don't care if you're two years old or nine years old or 16 years old, you can offer this type of caring to one another. Another job we can use in the classroom, often we don't have physical hurts, but we have psychological hurts. We're missing our mother, we're uh, sad with, with a sick pet or the death of someone, and we have a person called the we care person. In this final clip, watch these girls in a Head Start program as the We Care person offers her symbolic representations of some things such as a teddy bear or a necklace because they're not able to write yet, but they offer a symbolic offering to say, we care about you. Yes, tears coming out of her eyes. See if she needs a tissue. Tears are falling out of her eyes. What happened? What happened? Ooh, right on your toe. Ooh, that must have hurt. That must have hurt. Here's a tissue. Wipe your tears. You need a little lotion for your toe. 
think that will help? No. Crystal's got the bear. You think that will help? Will that help you feel any better? Oh, she says I need the bear and the necklace. She knows exactly what she wants. Did she have the bear, Crystal? Find her necklace. You need a star power necklace. Okay, you find that star power. Crystal's going to get you all set here. Oh, Crystal, that was really helpful. Oh, she says, I'm going to take your hand. Where are you going to take her? Oh, she says, let's go this way. We bought, bought you t-shirts. One of the things I love about that clip is that after the young girl offers her sympathy and empathy in her symbolic way, she grabs a little girl, which is not really part of the job, she just felt it from within side and walked her over to another play area. We can do the same things with the people in our life. So between now and the next time we come together, find ways to actively demonstrate ways of caring. Find ways in your family and your classroom and teach children specific ways they can offer their internal goodness to one another. Until next time, I wish you well.